Hi, and welcome to my unboxing of my last two years' worth of owl crates. Just kidding. Hi, friends. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. So, here I am last night, just laying in my bed, hanging out, thinking of Daughter and Smoke and Bone, and I thought to myself, I got something in an owl crate that was related to Smoke and Bone. So I look and I'm like, ah, oh, yes, I recall this. And then I got thinking about all my owl crates and thinking about how a lot of the items, I don't really realize their significance until after I've read the books, because a lot of the items, I just haven't read the books. And then I thought, well, ain't that a video? So for this video, Owl Crate is gonna choose my TBR. I have my Owl Crate cards from the last two years. Um, I haven't gotten every single Owl Crate in the last two years, but I've gotten many. So these are all the cards. And basically I'm gonna read the spoiler cards and if there's any item that I haven't read the book, I'm gonna show you guys the item and then get the book. And I'm hopefully gonna read it in the month of May, which is ah, because I'm also doing the classics of Thon. But it's gonna be fine, we love a challenge. Okay, we are gonna start with this one and this was the July 2017 Wanderlust. And uh, let's see. There was a Lord of the Rings backpack, red. Newt Scamander, Red Fantastic Beasts, A Darker Shade of Magic. Okay, I have read the first Darker Shade of Magic book, but I haven't continued on in the series. Am I going to do a series continuation thing? I think that what I'm going to do for this is I'm only going to start new series that I haven't read yet. So yeah, that's good. Okay, so there's nothing from this one. Let's move on to the next one. The next theme was Something Wicked This Way Comes, and this was August 2017. I have read every single book or fandom from this one, which is really exciting. September 2017 was Mythical Creatures. Okay, hold on a second. Wait. I think I have one. So of course the one item I'm looking for I cannot find at the moment, but it was a wooden bookmark and it says that it was inspired by the Mother of Dragons, which I think is from Game of Thrones, and I have not read any of the Game of Thrones books, so I have the first one here and hopefully I'll get to it in the month of May. That's it for Mythical Creatures, on to the next one. October 2017 was Find Me in the Forest. So the next item is this Sherwood inspired tea. This is, um, obviously Robin Hood was set in Sherwood Forest. I just went through every single fairy tale book that I own and Robin Hood isn't in any of them so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for this one. I think I will check out my library app and if not I might try just seeing if I can get like a story of Robin Hood on my Kindle but I am really interested in checking that out so hopefully I can get my hands on some version of the story. That is it for Find Me in the Forest, and now we're on to the next one. November 2017 was Castles, Courts, and Kingdoms. This was actually one of my favorite boxes just because the glass sphere was in it, and I loved that book. So this one featured this Winter Is Here lip balm, and um, obviously I'm already going to be reading Game of Thrones, so that's perfect. The box also came with this notebook, which is inspired by A Court of Mist and Fury. So I've got that one here. But before I read it, I have to read the first book in the series, which is A Court of Thorns and Roses. So I will be reading both of these this month. That is it for the November Castles, Courts, and Kingdoms. And let's move on to the next one. The theme for December 2017 was Seize the Day. This candle was one of the items that was included. It is called The Dreaming Tree and it was made by Novelly Yours. And it is inspired by... The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord, which I have not read and I actually do not own. Okay, so they do have it at my public library, but it is taken out right now, so I will place a hold. And I am number one on one copy, so that's perfect. So I can't find the bookmark, but there was a double-sided bookmark in this one that was partly inspired by The Serpent King. So I am finally going to read this one. I've had it for a really long time and I'm really really excited to finally get to it. I think that I'm going to love this book. That's it for this one. January 2017 was Fearsome Fairy Tales, okay. So I've definitely read like almost all of the fairy tales in here but I haven't read like them in a while or I haven't read the originals so 
This month I will be reading Grimm's Fairy Tales. I got this for Christmas from my sister like two years ago. It's so beautiful and I'm really excited to read it. Plus it'll count for the classics a -thon, which I'm really excited about because if I can combine the two it makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> Goodbye fearsome fairy tales. Hello hidden worlds. This was our February 2018 theme. Okay! Okay! This candle is called Through the Wardrobe and it is of course inspired by Narnia. I just want to give it a smell. Oh, that is so nice. I'm gonna burn- oh my god, I'm gonna burn the candles of the books while I'm reading the book. That is so cute. I love that. So I am going to be reading The Magician's Nephew. I know there is a bit of controversy about the order in which you should read the series because there's like the publication order and then there's the chronological order that I think HarperCollins came up with. I'm not certain, but I'm going with the chronological order rather than the publication order. I guess we'll see. Um, so this one is technically the first one chronologically, so I'm going to be reading The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis. Alright, what else do we have here? They also included this really adorable Alice in Wonderland sticker. I absolutely love it. I don't have anywhere to put it yet. I'm thinking maybe when I start a new diary I might just get like a blank one and cover the outside in stickers the way I've covered my laptop in stickers, but I'm not really sure. But Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll was already on my TBR for the Classics of Thon, which is really great. Again, so happy to be doubling up a little bit. So I'll be reading this one. That is it for this one. March 2018 was Across the Galaxy. Well, the one item in this box that was inspired by a book I have not read was this Illuminae Files candle. And I'm actually in the middle of the Illuminae Files. I've been in the middle of it for probably a year now and I really really like it. It's just actually sitting down and taking the time to read it because I've been following along while I listen to it on audio which is a really cool experience because this book obviously is like um multimedia and then there's a full cast of characters for the audiobook and like sound effects and stuff so it's really really neat uh so I'll be finishing this one in May I guess we're done with this one all right we're getting down to the nitty-gritty there's only four more so we've got July 2018 strange and unusual and uh let's check her out well would you look at that I read every single fandom or watched Stranger Things was one of them I really liked Stranger Things I've only seen season one haven't watched season two and I don't even know if season three is out, but it was good. I enjoyed it, and I really, really liked the little tiny 11 that came in this box. But yeah, um, I've read every single one. I'm pretty pleased with that. September 2018, Masters of Disguise. Oh, I'm so excited about this one! Okay, this box came with this little lip balm, and it is inspired by The Kiss of Deception, which if you watched my book outlet haul, I just bought... So I'll be reading that. I think it's really cute. Let me see how I can, like, it's like the same image. Look, oh my god, like I can just replace the book. That's so cute. I love how it matches. Oh my god, okay, I'm really excited to read this. October 2018 was Lost in the Bookstore. This one was really interesting because it wasn't, um, like, fandom-inspired stuff. It was just a bunch of cute little things, like there was tea, there was, like, the little strainer tea thing that you put in your mug. What else did we have in here? Oh, we had socks, we had a little pouch. So, yeah, it was just kind of like a really nice box if you're not into a lot of the popular fandoms, but you still want to get bookish goodies. But I don't have anything that I need to read because of this. We're on to the last one. December 2018, Power of Illusions. Okay, so this next item I don't actually have because it was a Christmas tree ornament and that is down in the basement with all of our Christmas tree stuff, but it was an ornament inspired by the Crowns game, which I've never heard of, so I'm gonna check if my library has it. Look at that! It is available in both ebook and audiobook, so I am actually going to check out the ebook, I think, rather than the audiobook and see how I like it. Okay, so the next one, I also just don't know where, it's with all my bags, it's a tote bag and I have so many, so I'm not going to go looking for it, but it is inspired by Car, Car, Car it is inspired by Caraval, which I will go grab. For some reason I really thought I had a paperback copy of this, but I don't, it's hardcover. Here it is, I'm going to be rereading it. 
I really liked the Night Circus, so I'm hoping I'll like Carval. I don't really know. I don't even know if they're similar, except the fact that they're both, like, carnivals. Who knows? I'll read it. I'll see. I'll give it a review. Okay, so here are all the books I'm going to be reading. I'm going to put them down now because they're very heavy. That is 10 books that I will be reading in the month of May, and I will do a part two in this video after I've finished reading them all. Hopefully I get it done in May, if not maybe mid-June the next part will be up and I will review all of them and talk about whether or not, I don't know, not whether or not I think they should have been included in as Owl Crate items because clearly a lot of people like these fandoms if they're including them as items, but I guess I'll talk about whether or not I like the fandoms and if I think they're worth the hype. As always, if you like this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up, comment down below which one of these books is your favorite if you've read any of them, and let me know what your thoughts are on my TBR. If you want to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next video.